Hello, my name is Bo McCrary, and today in this HitFilm Express tutorial of 2020, um, I will be showing you guys how to use text. So, I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday season. Um, I certainly did. It's been a while since I made a tutorial. In fact, it's been like four freaking weeks already. <laughs> so, to start off this tutorial, the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a new project. So, click on new. And the project settings, we're going to leave these the way they are. We don't really need to change them. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to create text as well as a plain layer to put the text on. So, once you've opened up your project, we're going to go to view like we did before. We're going to go to workspaces and we're going to click editing like we did before so that everything looks the same as you can see my settings changed appropriately the next thing that we're going to do is right click within the media panel and we're going to click new and plain so once you click on that a plain properties windows will appear giving you the option to change the name of your plane I'm just gonna retitle it plain because you know organization it should match the dimensions of your comp settings down here we can also change the color of it so i'm going to change it to white you can also pick a color from anywhere within the software or any sort of picture or image or video if you click on this box right here it will let you actually go into this rgb base color where you'll be able to actually pick any color you'd like so for this tutorial i'm going to drag this little marker right here all the way up to the top right where the red color is shown and I'm going to pick a shade of red that I'd like to use, which I'd like to use this shade right here. Once you've picked an appropriate color for your plane, go ahead and click OK. And then on the plane properties tab, we're going to click OK as well to create the plane. And it's up here in our media panel. The next thing to do is to take this plane layer and drag it on to our timeline where we will now see it in our viewer. So now I'm going to actually increase the viewing scale of this so I can get a better understanding how big this is. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this video tab right here on the tracks. I'm gonna create a new track by right clicking and clicking inserting tab, which will insert another video tab. Once you've done that, go up to the viewer up here to the top right and click on this letter A button, which stands for text or click T on your keyboard. Once you've clicked that, you're gonna get a cursor right here. If you click and drag that, anywhere on the viewer, you'll create a space for text. For my text, I'm going to type in insert so insert text and I'm gonna put those in parentheses okay so the next thing we're gonna do is you're going to highlight this you can highlight it with the cursor like you would or you can press control a on your keyboard to highlight all of the elements or all of the text you're gonna go down to the bottom right where the effects panel is and you're gonna to want to click on text keep in mind after we've inserted the text into our video it has also shown up in the timeline above our plane layer that we had created so within the text tab I'm going to change the font right here by clicking on this to Centra I'm gonna scale it up a bit as well once I have it scaled I'm also going to position it to centered down here in the paragraphs and I'm also going to create a border for this so to create a border you click where this a is and we're going to type in one. We're going to change the color of that to black. And now we have a border for our text. You can also edit each individual letter within the text tab. So for instance, if I just highlight the letter I, I can increase the size of the letter. And I could also do the same for the letter S by highlighting S and changing the scale of it. However, for this tutorial, we won't be messing around with those. So far, we have created a plane and we've applied that to our timeline as well as some text. So the next thing we're going to do is click on the text in the timeline. And we're going to go up to the top left where you see controls, go down to transform, open up that tab, and we're going to scale it down to about 75, and we're going to position it so that it's centered. So now that I have positioned the text correctly, I want to change the duration of this introduction template. For that, we're going to go down to the timeline. We're going to scroll all the way to three seconds, because I want it to be exactly three seconds long. And there's two ways of trimming this down to three seconds. The first way is to highlight both elements, reach the edge of the element till you see this colon symbol, and we're going to scale that down to about three seconds, dragging left. The other way to do this is to go to the left of the editor timeline and click on the cut tool or the slice tool. We'll go where our marker is right here at three seconds, and we'll cut both of these. You'll switch back to your mouse button, highlight both of these elements, right click, and click remove or you can click the delete button on your keyboard. And now we have an introduction template that is three seconds in duration. I'm also going to insert the crossfade effect like we did within the last tutorial. Go to the effects tab and look for video transitions. We're going to open up that tab and where it says fade to color, we're going to drag that onto the beginning clip of text 
as well as the beginning clip of the plane. So now that we've applied both of these effects, we are going to use our cursor right here to scroll through frames, scroll it all the way back to zero, and then take this marker and place it at exactly 10 frames. Increase the scale of your timeline if, if needed. I'm going to click and drag both of these effects so that they match 10 frames. I'm going to scale out, and I'm going to apply the faded color effect on the ends of these clips as well. Now take your timeline cursor and bring it all the way to the ending of your clip and scroll back exactly 10 frames as we did before and reduce the duration of the fade color effect for both elements or for both clips. And there you go. That was how to create a plane layer as well as a text layer for HitFilm Express 2019. I know I'm saying 2019 even though it's 2020 now. However, we are still waiting for the next update for HitFilm Express. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be here next time to show you guys how to use the timeline more efficiently for HitFilm Express 2019. Peace.